What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and Marvel's Avengers continues to be an enormous disappointment. Not only for the people who wanted this game to be amazing, not only for the people who are still playing this game and want it to get better, but also for Square Enix themselves because the publisher has lost so much money on this. Millions and millions of dollars. And it's not clear if they'll ever be able to recover what they've lost on this game. And they're even admitting it to their investors. Uh, take a look at the this article from Bounty into Comics. Now, I meant to talk about this a few days ago, but it just kind of got lost in all the crazy Star Wars news I've been talking about lately. Square Enix reports Marvel's Avengers has failed to offset initial development costs. Now, we thought that this was the case when we had some of these numbers that were leaked out that looked like anywhere between 50 to 65 million dollars in losses just based solely on this game. We're going to get to a couple different numbers here so you guys can see the range that we're talking about. But let's take a look at this article first. A new report from Square Enix has revealed the developers recently released, poorly received, and Crystal Dynamics developed Marvel's Avengers has performed so abysmally that as of yet, it's failed to recoup the game's development costs. And uh, this is a game that honestly was, was kind of a mess. From the first trailer when people saw that it looked like Walmart's, Walmart Avengers uh, didn't look like the characters they expected. Then when we heard the plot leaks and realized that Kamala Khan was going to be such a huge part of this game. And then obviously when it comes to gameplay, whether you're talking about the leveling, the loot, uh, the looter shooter aspect of it, so much of it was broken. Now some people are really enjoying this game, but that number is dwindling each and every day. We'll take a look at how the player base has dwindled as well and continues to do so. On a November 6th financial results briefing for the first half of the fiscal year, Square Enix President and Representative Director Yasuke Matsuda announced to investors that the HD game sub-segment posted an operating loss as initial sales of Marvel's Avengers were lower than we had expected and unable to completely offset the amortization of the game's development costs. Uh, and he quotes it here, We hope to make up for slow initial sales by offering ample additional content to grow our sales, added Matsusa, indicating the company plans to move forward with their plans for the individual character passes and future DLC characters. Now, you should keep in mind that all of this that they've announced, they did delay it initially. Now they're saying the Kate Bishop DLC should be coming in December for people. However... This, all this DLC is going to be free. Uh, you have a ton of people who own this game right now who are not interested in playing it. And in fact, when you look at the Steam charts, uh, they at one point had 28 thousand people, almost 30 thousand people playing this game. Now these numbers we're seeing right now are pretty incredible for what they've been. They've been averaging around eight to 700 players on PC. That is absolutely abysmal. That is losing, you know, 96, 98% of your player base. That's how bad people have received this game. How many people have been driven away by it? I don't know if they're going to be able to recoup those things if, if that's the kind of results that people are having. According to a previous financial report, the poor sales resulted in a loss of roughly $48 million and would have resulted in more had the company not released Final Fantasy IV Remake this year. Year. And that's what we're talking about. They're saying $48 million in loss, but it would have been, if not that, $65 million or so. Uh, so this game is an absolute bomb for Square Enix. Marvel's Avengers has also been bleeding players as the game has only had an average of 790 players in the last 30 days. Like we said, that's gone up just a bit, probably due to Black Friday, to be honest with you, because this thing is already a bargain. Uh, $30 in a bin. This is my local Best Buy. I took this picture. Stacks of Last of Us 2 and Marvel's Avengers in the same bargain bin together, right where they fucking belong for $30 a piece. Uh, to, just so you guys know, this sale has been going on for quite a while, and I have really never seen it move. I've never seen any of The Last of Us 2 move uh, pile move. I've never seen many of the Marvel's Avengers move. So it's pretty sad. I've been there the past couple days. Uh, nobody wants either of these games right now for very different reasons. And like I was saying, when it comes to the, the difference in what these financials are talking about, look at here. This is from CBR.com. Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics reportedly spent $100 million developing the game and another 60 in marketing, totaling up to around 170 to 190 million, if those numbers are accurate. It's possible the company's lost nearly $63 million on the superhero game. Now, they are, they do say they are committed to continuing this. I think what a lot of people are worried about is 
that the losses will be so bad that they're not going to invest the time necessary and the money necessary to complete all these DLCs. Because why would you do that? Why would you throw good money after bad? So that's bad for the people who are still playing the game, the few people who are sticking with it. Uh, they're worried they might not be getting the content that they have been promised if it continues to go this way. But on the other hand, when it comes to new players, if you're not dropping this additional DLC, how are you going to get more people invested in playing this game? It is really between a rock and a hard place right now for Square Enix. Uh, it's unfortunate because they expected this game to do similar sales, maybe even exceed Marvel Spider-Man PS4, which makes sense. This is a game that was launched on all platforms, and they have not even come close to sniffing where Marvel Spider-Man was, which was just released on PS4 only. Um, an embarrassing failure as of this point. The real question is, will it get fixed? Uh, we've talked about this a couple times on this channel now, and uh, you know it shouldn't have come out when it did. They shouldn't have rushed it out. It was a broken game. It needed maybe almost another year of development if we're all being very honest with ourselves. Uh, they should have waited to release it. Instead, they put it out broken, and they have suffered the consequences. But what will the end result be? Uh, a year later, are we going to be talking about this game like Anthem? Uh, by that I mean, are we going to completely forget about it? Or are they going to be able to salvage it? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.